Bonjour tout le monde! Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I make this neoprene uh, DIY face mask. So the item you're gonna need the template and the neoprene fabric, either the stretchy fabric or scuba and the pair of scissors, a pin, and of course the sewing machine and any uh, thread matching your fabric. So I'm gonna place my uh, pattern my, on my fabric. I'm placing on my fabric and I'm gonna trace it on my fabric. So since it's, it's a stretching fabric, you don't need um, any seam allowance. So you're just gonna make it exactly as it is. You, you, you trace it on your fabric and I'm making the hole. So after that, and you can flip it the other side and do the same thing. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it first. Now I'll just show you how you can place it to the other side to get a second part. So you need two, you're gonna need two of the, um, you're gonna need two pieces of that one. So I'm tracing it, the second one I'm tracing it back to, just exactly like I did the first one and I'm tracing the hole. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pair of scissors. Make sure you trace it exactly. Don't make it too, don't make a space because it's shredded fabric. So I'm gonna show you, you're gonna cut it. You see the one I already cut it? So I have to cut a hole too. So I'm gonna cut that one. Make sure that I use the color um, mark uh, um, sharp, sharp, uh, sharpie. So you can be able to see on the on the fabric just for video purposes. So I'm cutting them exactly the way I trace it on my fabric because I don't need a seam allowance because the fabric is a stretching fabric. So you're just going straight. And uh, that color is easy to remove it. Either you can put a little bit of water or it's very easy to remove it. I'm just using that exactly color just for video purposes. So to cut the hole, you just make the small hole first and then you do allow you to put a pair of scissors inside and then you just go around it and then you cut it. I'm cutting it around. And that's it. So that's what it is. So you end up with two pieces and I'm going to grab the other one too. I'm going to cut that hole. You can see how I do. I just grab it, cut small pieces and put my scissors in and then go around very slowly. You have to take your time. Otherwise you're going to cut it more than you're supposed to. And then the hole is going to end up too big. So you just go around after that. You see, so I end up with two pieces. So you need two pieces of that, the matching. They all have to match. So if you cut a little bit more or less, so one is going to be big and small. You're going to put both both together. So right sides facing each other so you can see by the corner. And I'm going to go ahead and pin it. I'm going to pin it. So if you have a search mach machine, you can use it. That would be better. If not, if your machine has a zigzag, you can use a zigzag. Uh, so I'm going to take it to my machine and I'm going to sew just around where uh, at about like a, a less than one inches because it's a stretchy fabric. You don't need a lot of uh, seam allowance. So you don't need a seam allowance at all. So I'm going to sew it. And make sure you double stitch over there to lock it so your 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 um, thread is not gonna open. So and then that's it. Um, I'm done. As you can see, I just double lock there. So my mask is over. The uh, you can see this is the mask. I'm just finished sewing it. You can do this, guys. Less than five minutes. Five minutes. That's um very very easy DIY you can make it for your for yourself for your family and I'm gonna put it on Shaniqua Shaniqua is gonna try it and then you're gonna see how beautiful it is there you go all done pretty much done very easy DIY less than five minutes okay merci beaucoup de regarder le vidéo if it's your first time in my channel please don't forget to share and like and subscribe Que Dieu vous bénisse.
Bye-bye.